Nee, je gaat Ik kom als je niet oplevert, nie? Ik kom als je niet oplevert. Dziękuję. Dziękuję bardzo. I może ten pizza? You can drink now. O, super. No. Okej. Widać, że nie tylko w tym pierwszym miejscu. Siedem, sześć, pięć, cztery, trzy, dwa, jeden. Start! Pozdrawiam serdecznie biegaczki i biegacze, ale także i tych, którzy się nie stali, są rodziny, są przyjaciele, są znajomi, są siedzi. I bardzo nas to cieszy, że oprócz tych osób, które zdecydowały się na udział, wyjeżdżają się na jakąś dzisiaj. Mieliśmy informację, że to jest zawodnik oznaczony numerem 423 i zaraz sprawdzimy, że to jest jedyny zawodnik. Sergio Seniuk, Biały z Krasznika. Miejsce trzecie. Końsko woli, UMCS Lublin. Krzysztof Bodurka. I zwycięzca. Przyjechał czy przyleciał z bardzo daleka. Reprezentuje team Limerick Ryan, a nazywa się John Kinsella. I poprosimy o puchary pana burmistrza, także panią Iwonę Bandych, dyrektor marketingu Poczty Polskiej. Miejsce szóste, miejsce piąte z zwycięzcą biegu John Kinsella. Jeszcze pamiątkowe zdjęcie sześciu najszybszych zawodników tegorocznego półmaratonu. Crowd here today, four or five hundred registered for this race. 28 degrees. So the one thing you want after that, after a hard race like that, and that's where the cold seems to be going. Nice cold beer. Where would you get it? A nice cold point. Today's into the holidays, so we're gonna have a few tonight, and then um, get back into training mode after today. Yeah. It's been three solid weeks. Then. You know, you might as well you might as well enjoy yourself on the way. And uh, I always think like if we, if we can put in 95% of the, the effort required, you know, and leave that other five percent for enjoying yourself. You know, whether it's having that uh, bad food every now and again or having the beer. It's not a harm, like, you know, we're not professionals at Ginger Day, we're just... We're 95 or so, in my case, swing shift workers, like, you know. And uh, we're not professionals. Take your rewards when they come and... Enjoy an old beer every now and again. Four or five hundred people ready for rat race today. As you can see, massive crowds over there. Free beer. You wouldn't see that in Ireland. 
I'd say you'd see a lot more people at the races if there was free beer, you know? The, the organisers are sponsored by a beer company, so you can imagine there's lots of free beer going around, and uh, it's a very popular race. There'll be a lot of sick kids tomorrow, and uh, I'll probably be one of them. Just like that, it's all over. Back to work, 12 hour shifts, bad sleeps, little recovery. Had to come to an end sometime. I had three good weeks in Poland and my legs definitely need a recovery week because I haven't had a recovery week in a while. And um, legs are pretty beat up. I have this uh, World Masters mountain running race to get through next week. So I didn't want to taper too early because I didn't want to have two weeks where I'm going to be tapering because you know I still have that marathon to train for. So I said that um, I'll try to build up the miles this week, get at least 60 miles and um, from maybe Tuesday then I'm going to start taking it easy. I might do um, a midweek or a kind of a, a mid long run, we'll say on Monday, just to have, just to top load it maybe 13 miles or something, real easy, and um, I'll take it real easy for the rest of the week. It's gonna be my down week, or my down few days, should I say. I went over to the course on Thursday night when I got back, I got back Wednesday night, and I uh, went over, I did a double on um, Thursday, around the hills, because I haven't run hills in three and a half weeks, like I think Keeper Hill was probably the last time I was on a hill, um, a couple of weeks ago in that race, and so it was good to get back up onto the World Masters um, mountain running course just to give the legs um, an idea of what's to come next week. And uh, you know, I can't I can't do any more. I'm not gonna improve anything between now and then. So the best thing I can do now is to get to the start line fresh and that's what I hope to do anyway. I might get my legs rubbed out during the week and do plenty of stretching and stuff. I haven't been doing too much stretching the last couple of weeks now and uh, it's definitely catching up on me I'm definitely gonna do a bit more of that and a bit more form roller and stuff just to try freshen up with regards to the course then you know it's um it's a fast course as in there's nothing too technical that, that's gonna slow you down on it you know like a real kind of um Galtimore descent or Karen Tool where you have to watch every step you know you can go real hard on nearly most part of the course like so it's definitely um it's definitely a suitable one for people who are not um, full-time mountain runners, should I say. You know, it's definitely, it'll definitely be a course that'll suit all types of runners, like road runners as well. So it's going to be interesting to see. I've been putting it on the back burner for the last couple of weeks because I had the other races and I've been doing the training. And I haven't even been thinking about it, like, because I haven't been running any hills. But um, I can't really hide from it anymore. Now it's, it's there seven days seven days from today and um, you know 
there's no point me getting out running the hill or anything now at this stage like because uh, all the work is done and I hope that all the training I've done the last few weeks and um, all the mountain stuff that I did before that are going to stand to me when it comes to the start line because um, it's definitely going to be tough and I'll definitely be nervous and stuff like but hopefully I can use all that to power myself up those hills and for the half marathon last week then I, I was pretty tired when I was doing it like but I was I was happy when I went over the data after it that my heart rate stayed in the stayed in the threshold zone for the whole race like and 531 per mile so I was delighted to see that I think it was only one or two minutes in the red which was near the end of the race when I was going up a, a kind of a steep hill and I just wanted to push there just in case there was someone close behind me like but um, I ended up having about 50 seconds to spare on the second place runner anyway for a finish but to see that I was um, only in the threshold zone for that was good you know I um, considering it's probably six or seven seconds a mile faster than Martin Pass so I was delighted at that so, so like technically I have 13 done um, at faster than Martin Pass like so that should make um, running the 16 miles at Martin Pass in the next couple of weeks using that as um, using that as a build up um, target like it, it's perfect for me like you know obviously I'd like my heart rate to be a bit lower and um, I think the next time I do it, um, when I do the 16 and I run a few seconds lower, my heart rate should definitely be uh, staying in the zones that I want them to stay in, like which is the lower end of the threshold zone. And then the next day then, I did actually my um, kind of uh, last hard long run, we'll say, as in I did a two and a half hour run, 22 miles. And it was a steady enough pace, like around 6.30, 6.35. And uh, I did 10 minutes and 5 minutes at around 5.30 pace in, at the end of that and uh, my legs were really beat up. I took a rest the, the day after and I still I still wasn't fresh like for a few days and then I had a rest there Wednesday coming back travelling because uh, I didn't get a chance to run that day and even with the two days off like my legs are still um, begging me now for a kind of a recovery week so and I didn't want to take it too early like it's because I have this mart in the train for so even with the two rest days this week I, I should still get 60 miles like so it's been a good week you know and um, all I can do now is um, try to recover and hopefully get to the start line fresh you know? go and run hard again and uh, I suppose the next video you're going to see will be about the World Masters Mountain Running Championships so hopefully um, be nice to pick up a medal at least a team one anyway and um, should get some good footage of that so the next time you see me I'll try not to have another couple of years but you know if I win a medal a man could easily be uh, promised into an old beverage or two and uh, hopefully that will be the last of it then because uh, I need to I need to take this Martin seriously like yeah. you know and uh, to anyone racing next week look you can't do any more your training's done now like it's time to rest up and just um, just get to the start line fresh and um, Hopefully I'll meet a few of you there at the race and if you're running for the, the male 40 team like me, you know, um, say hi or whatever. And um, we're all working together now and on Saturday, like we're all we're all trying to beat each other but at the same time we're teammates like and um, we have to push each other on like, you know, so that's what it's all about and hopefully we'll have a medal of show for at the end of it. And uh, best of luck if I don't see you there, if I don't talk to you there, like, because it will be kind of a, a nervous experience like um it will be a nervous experience so just try to just try to relax like and control everything you can you know with regards to your diet and stuff and the fact that the races are on kind of late, later in the in the morning is good as well you give a chance to get a good sleep and stuff and i think that's probably one, one of the most important things for me like i was supposed to do night shift um uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday but I just booked them off like I just used my holidays my last couple of holidays to book off there I didn't want any I didn't want anything getting into the this race like and because you know this is a good opportunity for uh, Irish lads here anyway to be running at home in the World Masters Mountain Running Championship mightn't get, that, mightn't get that opportunity again and you know sometimes when these opportunities come you have to try to take them and uh, at least um, get the start line as best you can and and um, I hope your training's been going well and uh, best of luck in Clonmel on Saturday and I'll see you there. Take care.